And welcome back everyone to News 5 at 10. Karen Hoffman sent me this photo taken earlier today from the Pikes Peak National Cemetery. And this was taken in honor of the National Vietnam War Veterans Day. Just a, such a touching tribute. And of course the flags getting blown around in the wind. And certainly we saw the wind all across the Pikes Peak region today. You can see in this photo sent in by Linda. Look at the top of Pikes Peak, the summit. Looking like it's snowing up there, but it's just those powerful wind gusts and some of those areas above tree line today seeing gust up over 70 miles per hour. Now we got a little break in the wind from about 5 to 9 p.m. The wind is picking up tonight as a cold front is moving in from the north. That's going to bring in some big changes tomorrow, including some winter weather impacts. I want to bring your attention to worst travel is going to be above 7,000 feet with the heaviest snow across northern parts of the Pikes Peak region, especially northern El Paso County and up towards Teller County. We're also talking about the, about the potential for an icy or snow packed evening commute. I think the morning commute will be okay in most areas, although there could be some snow on the ground by tomorrow morning up across the gap. So keep that in mind as you're planning your day out tonight and heading off to bed tonight. Uh, looking at this current temperature outside, it is 43 degrees and that wind has really picked up behind the front, dropping the temperature by about 10 degrees in just an hour. You can see up towards Monument, it was nice and mild today, but we are now down near freezing. No snow yet, but this Right there could be a snowy scene when we revisit it tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow night. Now south of the front, still plenty mild outside at the Riverwalk with 61 degrees in Pueblo. So now I want to break down some of those winter weather impacts during the day on Tuesday. Wind's going to be fairly minimal tomorrow once the overnight winds back off. Snow, we'll call it medium, but only in those areas that I talked about above 7,000 feet. So for most of us, it's going to be a low impact storm for the cold. Yeah, it's going to be much colder tomorrow. You'll want to bundle up and visibility should be on the low to moderate side unless you get a heavier snow shower. So if you're planning some outside activities tomorrow, probably not the best day to do it, but I know some of those diehards want to get out there and take that run. You can see temperatures are only going to warm into the 30s. We'll see snow in the morning near Monument and then periodic snow showers throughout the afternoon hours here in the springs. So let's time it out starting at here around 8 30 9 o'clock. You can see as we progress through 10 o'clock snow begins to move south into the springs, but where you see the lighter blue that might just be flurries. It's the darker blue that indicates the snow showers and the potential for some accumulation. You can see as we look at the future cast, it's not going to be a very widespread event and those lower elevations might be too warm to get snow or if they get those downbursts of snow, the ground's going to be too warm to see it stick. So again, below about 6,500 feet, not too worried about accumulation. Temperature wise, it's going to be much colder tomorrow than what we saw today. Again, in terms of how much we see, Here's a look at that map, the latest updated snowfall accumulation graphic. Two to four possible in the Monument, Palmer Lake area. Three to six for Woodland Park, a trace to two in Denver, trace to three in the Springs, and generally less than an inch out towards Pueblo, La Junta, and Canyon City. Lows tonight getting chilly behind that cold front. Dropping down to the teens in Woodland Park. That'll be one of the colder spots, 20s and 30s elsewhere. And your highs tomorrow, you're going to notice it because it's going to be about 30 to 40 degrees colder than what we saw today. So springtime in Southern Colorado. If you're new to the area, welcome. If you're a longtime resident, hey, you're used to this, right? Still chilly on Wednesday with highs in the 40s. And then we warm things up. We turn up the heat again by the weekend with temperatures about 15 degrees above average, even 20 degrees above average by around Easter Sunday. Pueblo, a mix of rain and snow possible Tuesday. Minor impacts here Wednesday. We're in the 50s, back to the 70s through Friday, and then 80s for the upcoming weekend. Canyon City, some wintry precip possible. And again, minimal impacts across the Arkansas River Valley. Nice and mild by Thursday, and then warming up to the good stuff, the 70s. T-shirts and shorts weather by the weekend. Woodland Park could see some bigger impacts here with some areas as much as three to six inches. And then as that bunny's hopping around at Easter, getting ready for Sunday, maybe an Easter egg hunt. Weather is going to be fantastic. Elizabeth.